pinned. How are you doing today? Hey, Andy. Hello. 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 I hear you. Hello. Yes. Hey, Sherry, can you hear me? It's Andy. Hello. Hello. I hear you. Yeah. Hey. I can hear you. Yes. I'm going to um, make sure. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm going to mute, mute the turn on. I, and um, it's a pleasure to introduce Andy. He's been, gosh, part of, um, he was, well, he was, you might have been actually at the first Maker Fair. Is that true? I think the, I, sec the second one. Yeah, I think it was the second or third. I wasn't able to, okay. I heard about the first one after the fact, but yeah. yeah okay, well, you definitely were a fan favorite there, and you were definitely at, you and Colin was on earlier, we're at the first Maker Music Festival in Sebastopol. Nice. So I'm going to turn it over to you. I'll stop talking and welcome Andy Graham and his, Richard. Hello. Okay. Yep. Uh, my... It's good. Okay, it's all me. Here we go. Okay, uh, well, my name is Andy, and I'm uh, from Santa Rosa, California, and I'm, uh, this is the electric stringed didgeridoo. I wish I had more space. I could back the camera up so you can see the whole thing, but the, uh, the whole thing is on the video on the website. Um, what it is, it was inspired by a scrap bin back, God, almost 18 years ago. It's, uh, I work at a place that uh, does a lot of high-end bronze furnishings and stuff like that, so I I found this piece of tubing in the scrap bin, and it was just a handrail that they had done a job with, and it was some scrap. So I made a didgeridoo out of it, because I like to make didgeridoos out of everything, <laughs> it seems. And um, then it just kind of grew from there. I found some other scraps and uh, decided to put strings on it. And then it sat in my closet for eight years and didn't do anything. It was just kind of funny. And then I pulled it out and kind of finally finished it. So this is... Um, I'm going to run through a piece, uh, just kind of an improv piece, and I'm going to also do a uh, kind of a composed piece with this. Um, the didgeridoo is in the key of D, and so is the top string, and so is the bottom string. And then the other two notes, I forget what they are. So I'm going to just uh, improvise. Can you guys hear okay? Everything good? Okay, here we go.
That wasn't too chaotic. <laughs> Anyways, that was uh, just kind of a random warming up thing. Um, you guys hear it okay? All right. that, sound, that sounded good. Your mic seems a little low to me, but. Okay, the mic. No, uh, better. Okay, good. It's better now. Okay. How about. Maybe the, it's uh, me. Oh, that's okay. How about the instrument? Does that sound volume wise good? I think that sounds good, everyone else. Yeah, amazing. we're getting um, amazing. Sounds great. Hands right. up. Um, that was absolutely nuts. I need like 10 of those. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, careful what you ask for. Uh, yeah. Okay, well this, uh, oh, I'm having trouble with my stool here, I'm moving up and down. Um, this next one is- Actually, you know what, Andy, someone, someone else said that the, the ditch and the mic sound a little low. A little low, okay. Let me, uh, I can crank yeah. that up. Okay. Okay, I just uh, raised it up a bit. Okay kind of loud over here so hopefully it'll be all right okay. good okay uh this piece um i call it injure the vortex it's a uh it's a more of a orchestrated piece a little bit longer and has a cool midsection and um i have to wear these glasses when i play it so that um, so that i will maintain a mysterious emotionally distant person playing a weird instrument okay um this is called injure the vortex
Everybody's still there? Yeah, very nice. All right, cool, thank you. Um, so I have a couple, those are the couple pieces I was gonna do. Um, whoops, my chair keeps moving here. Um, I uh, can do another little improv thing on it. And I also, I know this wasn't what part of the program, but I have a, um, I got another weird instrument I can play if you want to. Yeah, go for um, it. I got this thing called a slapstick. It's something I've made a bunch of, but I'm playing around with some new ideas with it. So maybe I'll just switch over to it now. And move hey. this thing out of the way. Hey, Andy, before you go, um, yeah. <clears throat> before you start playing your next set, someone wanted to know if you can tell us if this instrument that you're playing is available for sale. Um, you noted that it was a prototype in prototype mode for the past few years, not for sale when I've inquired. Hopefully it will be available. Love your music and creations. Thanks so much. Oh, thank you. Yeah, this has been a, I've had a lot of interest in this over the years and the bummer about it is that it was so hard to make for myself that it was it's kind of hard to um reproduce without charging a ton of money for it but um i will uh put some thought into making something that's a little easier to build which does the same thing so let him know that and uh, he can contact me and i can put him on a list if we okay i think i think um this person is on the list so oh, okay great <laughs> yeah it's it's a list i know it's been a list for a while <laughs> <laughs> uh, we, I, that's okay it's going to get better and better. Yeah, I think so. Excellent. Yeah, and Ross had to leave, but he said awesome. He's enjoyed it. And um, okay. you can play us out in our next. Um, we're then moving down to South America with a whole group of musicians. So. OK, well, cool. Well, this is um, this instrument's called a slapstick. I do make and sell these. <laughs> but um, I'm just having some more fun using the same effects unit that I use with the uh, string dig but a little more percussive weird stuff. So I'm just gonna play, how much time do I have? Until you I have switch? six minutes. Okay, perfect time. So I'm just gonna do a little uh, quick thing right here and make it up as I go.
anyways, I can just keep going. But anyways, um, thank you. That that is that's great, and I bet people are going to want to know. Um, oh, that's funny. Someone, um, Mikhail Victoria, said that you made Dr. Lonnie Smith a cane with a slapstick in it. I he did. takes on tour yep. with him, and well, wild uh, and crazy, he, super cool. Yeah, uh, there's some good news about this too with Lonnie Smith. He just introduced the instrument to Iggy Pop a couple uh, a few months ago, and they did uh, they did some kind of. Um, duo i don't know about with the instrument so it's kind of interesting that like iggy pop now has uh he knows about it so it's kind of it's, it, it keeps spreading yeah that's good that's yeah. excellent and andy um the slapperoo is it's on your website right i shared your web link yeah yeah so okay. it's slapperoo.com yeah excellent so if anyone wants to to pick one up i know andy would be much appreciative yeah. and andy thank you so much always a pleasure i'm going yeah, to stop recording you. now Okay, and um, great to have you part of this.